On Sunday, eight of us are going to be getting in Canada One, which is a canoe, a voyageur canoe, and we're going to be paddling down the Thames. I never thought I would do that to uh, fet the Queen on her Diamond Jubilee. Uh, we're delighted to be here. It's a bit apprehensive, if I say so myself, given the um, number of ways that you could very publicly <laughs> make a fool of yourself. It's incredibly well organized. The, uh, we're expected to be able to travel at four knots uh, for a distance of some uh, 11 kilometers, uh, under uh, I think 13 bridges, something like that. And um, I think that probably the most difficult thing along the way will be keeping, uh, keeping in the ranks. There is obviously an order when you put that many vessels in a very small river. The boat is a 26 foot, 8.23 meter Canot du Nord, which is a classic voyageur canoe. They were originally made out of birch bark, turned up ends. Uh, and it, uh, in original configuration, it would have carried about a ton of gear with six voyageurs. And the reason why it's an important craft to represent Canada is that this is a commercial vessel. It's been carrying the freight of Canada for 400 years. And in Canada in particular, though, it's a nation of rivers. And uh, so not only are we celebrating the past and the historic routes that were used to carry furs and other commodities that created the transportation and communication routes across the country, of old, we're also here to say Canada's still a nation of rivers and it's a fabulous place to visit because those rivers are still available for doing this kind of activity. If the Queen fancied to go on the boat, we would be delighted to invite her in. We'd rearrange the crew, we'd put a toque on her head, oh, may maybe not that part, but uh, in she would get, I would hope, and she'd join the crew and uh, paddle along with us because we know she's been supporting us from a distance for a long, long time, 60 years.